Hey, what's up, Journey Gang? Thank you so much for tuning back into the channel. If you're new here, hey, hello, my name is Life. On this channel, we bridge the gap between neuroscience and spirituality. We focus on how the mind works so we can create our own reality. Now, if that sounds like you'll get down, then you're in the right place. Hang out a while, subscribe if you're feeling a vibe, and then, of course, feel free to hit the like button, share, or comment on any videos that are resonating with you. In today's video, we are talking about the fact that you need to stop being yourself. You're going to get what I mean in just a minute, but it's just a huge realization that I've personally come to that I want to share with you. We just were talking recently about the ego mind and how that works in that live with me and Quay. We had such a fun time if you missed it go check it out but if you were there in the live chat then congratulations to you because you just got another spot in the fab five giveaway if you haven't heard about the fab five giveaway there is a video on the channel i released probably like maybe a month ago or so or you can go to my community tab to find out more information about that huge huge unheard of giveaway. We have been going over this book. You can't really see it because I'm using green screen. I want it to be in my Ocean View office today. So, uh, but you get the you get the gist of it, okay? We've been going through this book, Becoming Supernatural, because this is written by Dr. Joe Dispenza, a neuroscientist who is a genius when it comes to how the subconscious mind works. Next, we're going to be going through this book, Breaking the Habit of Being Yourself, and that's kind of the basis of this video. This is kind of my own introductory video to that, what we're going to be doing next with this book. We also have coming up this little baddie right here, Before You Think Another Thought. Yes, I just called this book a baddie. I love learning. I love books, and so I'm super excited that my mother-in-law got me this book, and it's Before You Think Another Thought by Bruce Doyle. Super excited to get into that one as well. These are all about thoughts, right? These are all about consciousness, about awareness, about the neuroscience part of it. And today I want to read from another book you're not going to be able to see too well, but you get the gist. This is 10 books by Neville Goddard. These are 10 different books that he wrote in his time and I want to read a short excerpt out of here but I just want to drill it in that guys we have to let go in order to receive and that really is the point that's all I'm feeling right now is just letting go letting go letting go and it's so important that we understand why and how to let go as well because people can be like you have to be it you have to believe it before you see it the feeling is the secret and it's like how though how so I want to get more into that as I develop my own awareness I want to share that more and more with you guys so I want to share this short excerpt out of here for you guys because life molds the outer world to reflect the inner arrangement of our minds there is no way of bringing about the outer perfection we seek other than by the transformation of ourselves no help coming from without the hills to which we lift our eyes are those of an inner range. That reminds me of the saying, you cannot perceive that which you are not the vibration of, right? That's sort of the same thing. Believe it and you'll see it. You have to be as if. It is thus our own consciousness that we must turn to as the only reality. No matter what you're seeing in your outer reality, you have to turn to your inner consciousness. That is where reality is formed. Sorry, that was my own thing. The only foundation on which all phenomena can be explained. We can rely absolutely on the justice of this law to give us only that which is the nature of ourselves. To attempt to change the world before we change our concept of ourselves is to struggle against the nature of things. However we toil or struggle, we can receive no more than our assumptions affirm. Now the reason why this is important is because a lot of us say things like I'm going to be this, I'm going to be that, or even they do affirmations. I am, you know, I am wealthy. I am healthy. I am successful. Whatever those affirmations are, we're saying that and it's like lip service, but we don't really feel that at a subconscious level. And remember recently I told you guys that I was rededicating myself to my journey. So I'm doing 20 minutes of reading, 20 minutes of working out and 20 minutes of a structured meditation, like in my meditation closet every single day. Now the meditation is the thing that I've really actually stuck to every single day since I said that, which was about a month ago now, right? 
I've done and I've done a lot of reading because I'm done with that breaking the habit of being yourself. I did more than 20 minutes on some days. Some days I didn't do any. Right. And then the working out uh, more often on, to be honest with you, even though today is the last day of the step challenge, I feel so proud of myself because I did do more steps than I would have done. But I digress. That's not the point of the video. The point is in doing that meditation every single day again, I feel so alive. I feel so refreshed and so like back on it. And I've come to some shocking and amazing realizations about myself. I feel like I'm really coming in touch with my own awareness and I'm just grateful to share that with you guys. I'm really, really excited about my future. I'm excited about the changes that are coming about in my life. And I really owe it to the fact that I am meditated and I'm dedicated to becoming someone new. I'm letting go of the old me and I'm moving forward. I'm moving toward a new me, a new life, a new reality. And so I'm so grateful for you guys being here along for the journey. I'm super excited and that's pretty much it. I just wanted to do kind of an update, do some reading for you guys and really encourage you guys to stick with this channel and stick with the things that we're going to be doing going forward because it is life changing. Okay. I'm not exaggerating. I'm not doing this for likes. Like this is going to change our world. This is going to change our life. Once we really feel these things from the inside out, and that is going to change, take a change in awareness. A lot of us have a lot of limiting beliefs. I don't know if you ever heard that saying, give me a child from zero to seven and I'll show you the man. Because a lot of times our parents or whoever our caregivers were, our grandparents, our teachers, our pastors, they taught us you to be seen and not heard. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't have enough experience yet. You don't know nothing about that. And so a lot of times we get these feelings of, unworthiness that we can't express ourselves that we can't achieve certain things because we're just a child and it's sad to say it but they didn't know what they were talking about they didn't know what they were doing so it's not like we need to be mad but we just need to change the meaning we're giving these things we need to change the the inner thoughts we have about ourselves so it really is important that we start breaking the habit of being ourselves. And with that, I'm going to be doing a lot about meditation here. I'm going to be doing a lot of reading, a lot of meditation, and I'll probably do some workout videos and stuff like that. I may or may not do some workout videos and stuff like that on this channel. I'm kind of thinking about doing a separate channel. Let me know down below if you would subscribe to a, a more of a lifestyle, working out, eating healthy type of channel from me. If you want to see that from me, please comment down below and I'm, I'm really heavily considering doing that. I appreciate everyone watching this video all the way to the end. I love you all for no reason at all. I'll see you next time.